All right, I got through this little clip in here. I think I forgot to say it. Today is video four out of five days of videos. We're doing a giveaway. Everybody that puts comments in all five of the videos, we're gonna do a drawing on Monday to give something away to them. I haven't decided what it is, but it'll be something fairly good. So put your comment down below, watch this video. If you didn't watch the videos early in the week, go back and do watch Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays video. And of course, the one that I put out on Friday too, that makes five. So, all right, yeah, let's keep going. All right, here's everything that I'm gonna take inside Bookman's. Let me kind of explain everything that I have here and why I'm choosing to take these items in, trying to get some trade. Now, first up on this Paper Jams guitar, first off, the thing is huge. Second, the sell-through rate is not really good on these. It's brand new, it's in the box. I paid about $8 for it. And again, what I'm trying to do at Bookman's is get more in trade than what I paid for it, and then also then use that credit to increase the amount uh, that I'm getting as well. And I'll explain some of that later on as I'm kind of looking at items and buying a few things. So in here, this box is all brand new games and puzzles. Most of these I paid like two and $3 each for. And they're ones that again, they either don't have good sell through rates, they sell for like $10 plus shipping. And it's just not worth the time and effort to list these on eBay and Amazon for all that. So I'd rather try to trade it, get credit and get better items. A bunch of loose toys. I haven't taken loose toys in here, but these are all like, I think these are like rescue rangers. There's a wrestling one and some other miscellaneous ones in there. Uh, so I'm gonna see if they'll take any of those. Then we just got a couple used things in here. We got some DVDs. Actually, a couple of those DVD sets are brand new and a few miscellaneous items and a matchbox uh, car case or Hot Wheels car case. So that's everything I'm taking. This isn't really my best batch of items. A lot of times I'll take video games and movies and uh, a lot of media stuff and that uh, gets good credit. So we'll see how I do here today and uh, we'll do a little shopping afterwards. Look at the wall of pops. All right, I'm back outside after uh, completing my trade deal. You can see everything in here. This is the stuff that they didn't take. So they took just about everything. They did not take the, the guitar, uh, the Paper Jams guitar. I guess I'm gonna have to list that myself. And they took just about every game that was new. I got my trade slip, you can see here, I got $83 in trade for everything there. I think I did pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna go in there and do a little shopping and uh, yeah, let's see what we can find. Okay, I'm back home after doing some shopping at Bookman's and I think I had a pretty good uh, little haul from there. Now I'm gonna kind of recap everything that went on. I know I probably talked about some of it in the clips before, but so I'm kind of piecing all these together. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out as far as me giving you all the details. So. First off, I took a bunch of items into Bookman's for trade. Now they do give you a cash option, but it's about half, if not even less than uh, what they offer you for trade. So I always take the trade option and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to get items that I can sell for even a little bit more than what they're asking them for. So hopefully I'm trading in, say items that I spent $50 on that I get 60 or $70 in trade. And then I can turn the, that $70 in trade into 80 to $100 worth of retail sales at my antique booth. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for, kind of just slowly getting a little bit more than what uh, I paid for at the beginning. Now again, all the items that I traded in were items that were lower dollar items, stuff that didn't sell well, stuff that uh, I bought for like two and $3 a game or puzzle. And they took everything that was new and sealed. So I've gotten pretty good at knowing what they're gonna take these days and I knew they would take all those new sealed items. Most of those I find at DI, uh, Desert Industries, the thrift store out here, and like I said, it, two and three dollars per game on the majority of those. Now, everything's in here. I bought a lot of loose pops, and then I think three uh, ones that are still in the box. So let me get these uh, kind of set up over here, and then we'll kind of go over things. All right, here it is. Here's all the loose pops. It looks like there's nine loose pops, and generally they charge $4 for a loose pop figure. Now, in my antique booth, I'll take these and put a minimum price, $5.95. That's kind of the going price for a loose pop. You can't really get too much more because then you're getting to kind of like the price of one in a box. So $6 is what I'm shooting for. So I give them $4 that I got in trade and then I can get $6 at my antique booth. So I got, again, nine of these. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did some trade and there was two of them that I got for $4 that I sold on eBay for $20 a piece. I don't think they really look up the values of them 
uh, when they're loose like this. I think they probably just give the people a buck or two in trade, put them on the shelf for $4, and that's how they make their money. So I will look, look up some of these and just make sure that they're not worth selling uh, individually on eBay. So uh, I think there's two different Power Rangers. I got the pink Power Ranger and I got the yellow Power Ranger. This guy's from Overwatch. I think he's called the Reaper. I got two different Thor figures. We got this one here and this one here. We have some girl from Kingdom Hearts. I had to look it up. Now, what I also do on these figures when I don't know who it is, I use Google Lens. It's a great little program. You can download the app, it's free. You just take a little picture, it searches out Google and it finds out exactly who it is. It works great. And that's how I found out who this is. And this one here, I had no idea who this was. I just said, that's really cute. Now, it did look like it was Rocket Raccoon in a way, but in a female version, and I guess there is a female Rocket. And then, of course, there's Rocket. And then I believe that's Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. So all of those will probably all be $6 each in, in my antique booth. And then I got these three that are all still in the box. And the reason I only got three that are in the box, they, if you saw those pictures from earlier, they had a whole wall of them, is because the majority of them are marked anywhere from starting at $10 up to about $30 each. And their prices have been slowly creeping up. I used to get them for like six or $8 new in the box, maybe 10 bucks. And now they're getting a little more. So the ones that they're asking 12 and $14 for is a little bit too much for what I could sell them for in my booth. So I just got to look for the ones that are price rate. First off, we got Harry Potter and he's carrying that little noise making thing. Does it say on here? doesn't say what its name is, but I figured what those little things are called. This one here was $10 and I'll sell it for 10 in my booth. Next, we got Captain Phasma from Star Wars. That one was marked $8. I'll put that one for 10 in my booth. And the last one, we have Wolverine, a special uh, 80 years edition from Marvel. It was marked $10. And again, it'll go for 10 in my booth. So those, I don't get to price up too much. Uh, generally, they're $10. That's probably what I'm going to get in my booth. If I price them at 12 or 15, they just won't sell. So if I keep them at 10, I keep them moving and still make a little bit of money. All right, so that was my uh, Bookman's experience for today. It wasn't my greatest haul for Bookman's. It wasn't the most I've ever gotten in trade. I only use, I didn't use it all. I still have a little bit left. I still have another $19 in trade. So I still could have got two more box figures or another, you know, four or five of the ones that are in bags if they had any. So I uh, still can go back there and get some more stuff once they get some more inventory in. I'm sure there's stores like this in your area, wherever you live. There's got to be some other uh, pop culture bookstores that do buy, sell, trade. Something you can look into doing, whether it's uh, for resale or just to get items that you want for yourself. Go out there and find some thrifted items. Take them there and just buy items for you. That's what I do too. I have a few items up here that I've gotten that I've kept for myself. So, all right. I hope you liked today's video. I uh, hope it help, helps out a little bit. And again, put your comments down below for the contest. This is video four of my five days of videos. You got to have a comment in today's video too. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.